Hey guys, it's Kelly. So I'm just hopping on to show you that the two little ones uh, got haircuts. Yep, Boo Boo looks like a rat. She's very upset. Bear just looks a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah, so, but these are probably the best haircuts they've ever gotten. I We always do them from home. And uh, I've got to say, this year they came out very more even than all of the other years at least so yep and blaze doesn't get a haircut because he doesn't need it all right so i'm gonna do a quick uh plant tour of my bedroom plants and i'll probably hop into the kitchen because i have a few in my kitchen and show you those but yeah so alrighty. all right so we're gonna start on this side i'm on my bed so you're gonna hear some creaking and it's going to be hard to stay still. So this is my twisted lipstick plant. Doing really well. We have a bald spot where it doesn't get any light. But overall, this side's doing really well. Right here we have the red maranta prayer plant. Which again, on the one side is doing really well. And then we're bald over here. So, you know, it happens. This is my Marble Queen Pothos that needs a drink. I've cut from her before. I've cut her back up to here because she was really long. Where she was originally, she was getting hit into, so I just cut her back. So this is what she looks like now. This is my pretty dream, pretty and dusty dream catcher. Here is my Philodendron Brazil which is nice and long. She needs a haircut. See, she's all the way down there. Right, stay there. She's going to knock everything over. She's doing really well. And then right here we have my Neon Pathos. Again, I cut her back and she's starting to trail again. And then finally, well, I guess on this window, finally, we have my Tridescanthia Zebrina. And again, this one, this one grew really long. It was like like two feet down on all sides. I cut that back, propagated it. You saw in my other video, I made like a little trellis thing for my mom for Mother's Day. So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna hop over to the other window and show you them. See you in a bit. All right, we're back. Hopefully this isn't too backlit, but this is my Peperomia japonica, and I have to go in and pull out some of the dead leaves, but doing really well. Doing well pretty much on all sides, so. Then this plant. Ah, <sighs> this plant. So, this is my green Maranta, the prayer plant. And it was huge. It was at least, like, a foot around on all sides. I'm trying to get it better. There we go. And, yeah, over the winter, it, it dried out. All the leaves curled. I called it the curl of death. I took a couple cuttings. I rooted those. They're in a smaller pot. But this guy held on and he's coming back. So we'll see what happens. Yep. Alright. And then the last plant in my room right now is also in need of water. Ooh, can't see you at all. Bring you over here. That is my... Skindaptis, Pictus, Arjun, blah, 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 that one. And again, this one needs another haircut. First, I have to water her. And yeah, so I cut her back every year, and then she just keeps growing. And then, you know, I root them, and I give them out to people on birthdays and holidays. And then they usually end up killing them because they, they aren't plant people, but, you know, I gotta keep trying. One of these days, I'll give them a plant that they really like, and they'll try to keep it alive. And then I'll have a plant friend. It'll be great. Alright, so I'm going to end it here for now, and jump to the kitchen to show you those plants. Alright, so these are the three plants in my kitchen. And then I have a plant in my sunroom that stays in the sunroom, and I'll explain that a little later. So I'm going to pull these, I guess and pull them down so you can see them better. So this is the one and only fern that has lived for me. And it's doing really well. <laughs> it survived the winter, everything. Fluffy ruffle fern. So if you want a fern that's pretty hardy, can take some neglect. 
this is your fern. All right, the next one is also a struggling, struggling babe. All right, so then this is my Cebu Blue Pothos, and I have to clean her up as well. All right, so this is my Cebu Blue Pothos. Um, it's doing okay. It's a little leggy. It's not as full as it was, but you know, you just cut her back. I also have her propagating and also have her in littler pots. But yeah, so see all the pumice. It eventually all floats to the top. Like, it's. I need to get perlite, but not there yet. So, yeah, not perlite, pumice. Yeah, pumice. I want to get pumice because the perlite floats to the top floats to the top after a while of watering it so then everything underneath <laughs> is more just like dirt and then the top is just all of the pumice that's floated so and eh, what's the point of it right who knows I don't know but all right so there's that one and then the last one I have in the kitchen is my I always want to call it the moonshine plant, but it is the Pelia Involcata Friendship Moon Valley plant. I like it, and oh, bam, look, it's flowering again. <laughs> That's great. Look at that. And these flowers look bigger than the last time they flowered. Or maybe it's just a better camera or phone, whatever. But yeah, I got to water her. She needs some water. And I'm going to rotate her so this part gets more light, and then uh, she, like, she she is very easily pulled towards the light so all right so this is my elephant bush and this one had mealybugs when i well i didn't notice it when i bought the plant but when i brought her home last year i had mealybugs and i also had just the regular um jade elephant bush and uh, that one had that one i think gave this one the mealybugs so i tried for both of them the one did not work uh, it ended up dying, I ended up cutting it up and just chucking it. But this guy survived, and he's starting to push out more leaves, which is really nice, because at one point it was mostly sticks. And uh, I just left it in my sunroom throughout the winter, and it survived. I thought it was going to freeze, but I was not going to put it in with the rest of my plants, just in case. But, yeah, see, this was from, this is death from last year. <laughs> but, uh... There hasn't been any more mealybugs on it. I'm still going to just keep it in the sunroom. And I've only been watering this with alcohol and water mix. So that's what I did. And it survived. But the other one didn't, and I tried the same thing. So I guess it just depends on the amount of uh, mealybugs you see. So yeah, I'm going to get this guy away from the rest of my plants for just in case. And uh, those are... The plants in my bedroom and kitchen and sunroom so far and I'll give you a quick tour of the plants in my plant room before I move all my larger plants into my sunroom and then I'll show you that after that's done and blah 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 but all right so peace